Hello. Uh, I would also like to present my, my colleague Ina Nagvich. She will help me, she also helped me to do this work together. So maybe I'm one of the guys who know very, very very small amount of knowledge about hemp. But however, we are doing with finances, we are trying to, to find answers for how to provide grants for starting a successful hemp business. So maybe we could help you find the right way on that side. So who we are? Uh, Kandata is an institute. And it is a non-profit, non-government organ organization, uh, and we are dealing with management and promotion of development projects, regional, inter-regional integration, comprehensive business and startup consulting, internationalization, commercialization of different businesses, and at the end. Uh, on obtaining funds on national and European calls for tenders. So, today we will talk about national and European financial initiatives for growing and processing of hemp, examination of the entry criteria for the tender applicants, viability of the projects and their placement into public tenders, priorities and selection of relevant content on the Horizon program, the importance of international networking for fundraising and a little bit about crowdfunding. So now my colleague Tina will tell you a little bit about programs related with hemp and hemp business, uh, which are under the European legislation about financing. Good day. Uh, I will present just uh, Horizon 2020. We all heard about it. We all try to get some funds for uh, this uh, uh, new financial perspective. Uh, we have chances till 2020. The first um, Deadline was in uh, June, 18th of June. We have new uh, results and feedbacks. What uh, uh, all the uh, participants make uh, uh, wrong, uh, do wrong. So um, we just um, prepared a few topics that are involved with uh, uh, hemp industry. So uh, these are. Um, agriculture and forestry. The, the first topic that is very important for um, you that are uh, here today. Um, this area is actually um, for um, uh, those uh, who are uh, involved in agriculture because in, EU, in uh, Europe we have at least 70% uh, of uh, air, land area that is covered by forests and is uh, and are uh, agriculture areas. Uh, the, the activities should be uh, um, heading to increasing production to efficiency and coping with climate changes uh, while ensuring sustainability and resilient, resilience. Uh, we have heard um, about the projects before and Maybe, I hope, uh, the lecturer gets some new funds for his ideas. Uh, and uh, providing ecosystem services and public goods, empowerment of rural, rural areas. I must say that uh, when we are talking about new funds, we mustn't talk about getting funds just for starting the business, business but have good idea. That's that is maybe uh, innovative or high-tech. 
And um, also, uh, in this topic, there is sustainable forestry. Um, maybe more interesting is uh, bio-based industries. Uh, we also heard before about um, uh, low carbon resource efficiency and sus uh, sustainability, and these are the main, acti uh, the main activities and objectives um, that uh, accelerate the conversation of fossil-based European industry, and is um, important for this topic. Um, the elements of this uh, area are transforming current foss fossil-based pro uh, processes into resource and energy-efficient biotechnology-based ones, uh, establishing reliable, sustainable and appropriate supply chains of biomass, byproducts and waste streams, and a wide network of biorefineries, and supporting market development for bio-based products and processes. Uh, maybe uh, biotechnology, that we also heard something about that, uh, that is uh, focused in um, biopharmaceutical se sector. Uh, we, tried, we, uh, we all try new uh, possibilities, not uh, the classic ones. Uh, also health, food and healthy, healthy diet. Um, these are the basic human needs. Um, we need uh, uh, good uh, solutions about that. Um, the um, eligible uh, activities are promoting informed consumer choices, delivering strategic solutions for healthy and safe foods and diets for all, and creating opportunities for a sustainable and competitive agri-food agri -food industry through innovation and food proceedings. And from my part, the last two topics that are interesting are key enabling technologies um, in advanced materials, advanced manufacturing and processing, and biotechnology. Maybe also we can think about raw materials uh, because um, we just saw after this uh, first deadline that um, uh, there are a lot of possibilities and uh, the topic of hemp industry is um, quite um, innovative solution for that. So, what should we do to meet criteria for fundraising? Uh, first, talking about national and European tenders, we can notice rather limited diversity of specific entry criteria. Uh, usually almost any entry criteria based on two basic sets of conditions. Conditions related to the applicants and conditions related to project. Uh, conditions related to applicants are like registration of applicants, qualification, personnel, structure, references, uh, collaboration with uh, academic and some research institutions and so on. Conditions related to project must be that the project's uh, consistency with the tender team, uh, innovativeness, usability, opportunities for commercialization, added value of research and development, uh, and environmentally friendly, advanced and comprehensive solutions, and sustainability and so on. Regarding the new EU program guidelines for the period 2014-2020, any entry criteria should mostly be oriented to its specifics. It could be of a substantial help for any potential applicant to previously check the facts of how to get funding on the European Union website. So, the ability of the projects and their placement into public tenders. A wide range of uh, available open calls requires special attention in selecting an appropriate program for each project. Therefore, 
it is very important to be previously well in, informed about current opportunities with respect to the required specifics. Prior to our decision about the application, it is good to know what are general and specific re requirements uh, of the selected tender. That's important because of possibility for realistic evaluation of the potential for the project success. First, we must determine uh, whether our project meets the basic tender criteria. Current European perspective offers a wide range of opportunities, especially for small and medium-sized enterprises. But to be a small or medium-sized enterprise is not enough. Talking about European tenders, first of all, our project must be innovative. Innovative enough and it must comply with development criteria relating to marketing possibilities and why the needs for such project to be implemented. Next, please. Here are six lessons and one rule for a project evaluation. Uh, it's good to know six lessons learned from the first evaluation of the SMA instrument open call from June this year. Most of the non-selected proposals were too much focused on the project and not enough on the business opportunity. Not convincing when describing the company. You have to explain why your company will succeed and not your competitor. Not providing enough information on competing solutions having a too low level of innovation, planning to develop a product that already exists in the market, proposing just an idea without any concept for its commercialization, or just trying their luck, the SMA instrument, like all other open calls, are not a lottery. And there is also one rule, don't even try to participate at any open call without a well-skilled project coordinator such as we are. Next one. Uh, we all know that there are local and national public tenders as well as international, European and so on. In Slovenia as well as other European countries there is a set of open calls that may be suitable for the cultivation and processing of hemp. These calls are hosted by the local authorities as, as well as by the various ministries and government departments. In Slovenia for hemp uh, growers it is possible to apply for funding in local tender programs uh, open call for, uh, uh, to, to tender for the allocation of financial resources to facilitate the development of agriculture and forestry in each municipality. You should check when they are open. At the national level, it is necessary to mention the call of the Ministry of Agriculture, the annual tender for individual, individual measures, 1 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 1 1, and so on. Uh, these measures are available, uh, available to promote and support the development of agribusiness and efficient production, uh, diversification and progress in agriculture activities. However, currently these measures are not available from the Ministry. I don't know when they will be available <laughs> next time. Uh, of course, there is a variety of other programs on national level which could be applicable by domestic hemp business. You can get more info by the individual request from us. So, here we are. Actual European open calls. A variety of European tenders, of course, is very comprehensive. There are not too many parallels with national calls, whereas uh, European calls are much more complex. However, each kind of open program provides some specifics that are suitable for different type of projects. 
uh, in accordance to current European perspective, how business at one way or another could be classified into following programs, life, Cosme, Horizon, SMA instrument and others. Maybe today we don't have enough time to, to talk about all of these programs, but we will talk mostly about the Horizon program and the SMA instrument, instrument for small and medium-sized enterprises. Uh, this SMA instrument consists in three phases. First phase is mentioned to be for the feasibility study to be done by you in six month period okay. and you can get grant in the amount, in the amount of 50,000 euro for, for that feasibility study. And phase two, phase two is uh, innovation project uh, and it will be supported that either the specific challenge and the demonstrate high potential in terms of company competitiveness and growth uh, underpinned by a strategic business plan. Uh, in phase two, we must, in a 12 to 24 months period, do our prototype of a new developed uh, project and we can be granted with uh, half a million to two and a half million euro per our project. And there is also phase three, which is not covered by money, but we can get coaching and mentoring services from European institution, institutions. Uh, in the SMA instrument, we, we get some up to 70% of funding, so 30% of finances must be from our own. The importance of international networking for fundraising. In accordance to European guidelines for the purpose of any significant development project, we must establish an appropriate project partnership. Partnerships are local, regional, national and international. Optimum partnership for European tenders usually consists of five partners from minimum three countries. Project partnership, the partnerships are further divided to public, private and NGO, NGO non-government partnerships. It is also important to connect to academic and scientific institutions. That is uh, evidenced as a strong element of innovativeness. These are innovative partnerships according to the European classification. Such facts demonstrate the European dimension of the project. However, this also demonstrates the implementation of suitable market analysis for our project product. Again, the role of project coordinator is a very large here. For example, our institute can help you find suitable project partners uh, through the extended European partner network in which we are. Tips and tricks about crowdfunding. We all heard about crowdfunding. Uh, it's also a way to get money for our business. Uh, unless you have been living in a remote island for the last few years, you have heard about crowdfunding or stories of people raising thousands of euros or millions. <laughs> Anyhow, crowdfunding allows projects, causes or businesses to take in small sums of funding from a large number of founders online in a fast and effective way and has grown so rapidly that it has redefined the fundraising world in just a few short years. There are two general types of crowdfunding. 
Rewards-based crowdfunding where participants donate or purchase items from the project owner and equity crowdfunding where participants become investors, shareholders in a company in exchange for the potential uh, for future financial returns. Apparently, there is something like 500 crowdfunding sites on the internet. However, not all of them have real communities and funding success under their belt. According to Forbes magazine, you should check between 10 of the most known, you should check on the Forbes website. Mostly known are Kickstarter, Indiegogo and crowdfunder.com, which is maybe the best platform for raising investment and has uh, one of the largest and fastest growing network of the investors, uh, in investors worldwide. Of course, it does matter which crowdfunding site you choose because they are thematically different. A new hand product should definitely be, be placed on another site comparing to an emerging book or a unique computer game. Top four reasons people contribute to crowdfunding campaigns. Uh, they want to be first. People want to be first, they will buy into your campaign purely for the sake of street credit. Uh, ca how to capture them? Highlight what makes your project unique and unattainable anywhere else. Bonus points for offering a Kickstarter or Indiegogo limited edition version of your project. Uh, being able to show of your first of its kind project will be too tempting for them to resist. Your project makes them happy, of course, or excited or inspired. Uh, use this to your advantage. Use your video to con con convey your passion. Uh, why are you doing this? Why crowdfunding? Emotions are contagious and they are the only thing that can open up your wallet. Uh, they are invested in your uh, community. If you are making custom crochet needles, your target market probably isn't a uh, member of Hells Angels. Uh, they will, however, run in certain circles and uh, it's your job to figure out how to connect with them. They believe in you. When people see your passion, along with a carefully thought out strategy, they will be assured that you have the drive and ability to bring your project to so, I was short, so here we are if you need a local or international European partner for your project to be financed uh, for collecting grants, if you have any questions. Yes, of course. 
uh, we were talking first about uh, national criteria for national tenders or for uh, collecting grants grants of national tenders so the criteria is a little bit different uh, like when you're going on European funds so uh, we must separate this criteria one from each other and uh, mostly we must know that every tender has its own criteria to, to be established that's why we are talking about it Thank you. It's actually regarding the same thing. Um, you said uh, for European subsidies, you're usually looking for uh, three to five countries, or three countries or five countries. Is that uh, is that a fixed criterion for all European? No, 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 no. But mostly, mostly we are talking about it. Uh, why? When we are talking about uh, European uh, tenders, you should know that uh, we must need some. European dimension, and European dimension dimension is in that way that we must find some international partners inside the European Union, and that's why also we we cover by by that step we we cover our our next thing to be done, and it's uh, knowing the market in Europe, and how can you know the market? The European market, if you if you don't have your partners around in Europe. And if I could ask one more question, yes. uh, regarding the content, because in the beginning you were mentioning several subjects that are that can be subsidized. Do you know what currently has the emphasis? Is there more emphasis on subsidies for growing or for processing innovations or for marketing? More more from processing, for growing. Mostly nothing when we are talking uh, about European tenders. Uh, it's mostly covered by national and local tenders for for uh, agriculture and similar. Okay. Yes, please. So, uh, how you have to, to, to combine the, the, the dimension of uh, maybe some small innovator here around to bring uh, uh, the innovator on to be financed by the European community? Because, the, in my opinion, uh, uh, and in my life I have already tried many times, the question is, who judge your project in Brussels? Yeah. If your project in Brussels is judged by a different point of view, you will never win. And this is the problem which we found uh, in a community so small, where, I, where we have many, many ideas, but where the the, the university take care, uh, let, let me say, are very conservative. So we have to find a possibility for the micro company to be, uh, let me say, not leader, but driver. Leader must be one, one like your company, so I mean that knows exactly what they have to do. But you cannot ask a micro company to make uh, uh, his balance uh, uh, report uh, signed from uh, uh, a, 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 a revisor or something like that. This is, you make concern about this uh, and the small company never reach possibility to be financed. This is my opinion. Thank you. Already I have that. If you have some, some, yes. some idea, please suggest because... Uh, okay, uh, thank you. That's why we are talking about 
project management and project coordination. Our organization, our institute, could be a project coordinator in that case. Uh, why? What is our thing to be done in the project? Uh, all the legislation, all the rules about papers, uh, all that necessary things to be done if you want to be successful on, uh, on, on your project. Here we are to help about it. We, we should be, must be, or any other organization like we are, must be the members of your team, must be one of these five partners in your team. Because our role is that part of the project. So we are dealing with small, very small micro companies daily. And believe me, you will never know what you can find in such micro company. <laughs> Maybe something more valuable than in any bigger or, or uh, I don't know, international company. So that's why we are here. That's, that's our role in, in all that. So anybody please check our website or you can, you can uh, ask us whatever you want. Whenever you want, we are open for any questions. Everything's for free. <laughs> so uh, just ask, we are here for you. Thank you. Excuse me, connected to that, you mean that you got friends in Brussels? Sorry? Uh, connected to uh, the uh, Hinterman question, you mean that you got friends in Brussels? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's a tricky question. I believe so. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because uh, maybe it's different from country to country, but in Brussels, there is a mixture from any country inside this European community. So anything what is new and uh, what is, uh, how to say, what people need in this community or a part of people need in this community, uh, I think should be considered as a good thing to go to Brussels. So if you have a new idea which will bring life in this community somehow on a new level. And I think hemp products could be. We saw a good green line which is something new for me and I, I should say that's something very interesting. Uh, why shouldn't guys collect some grants for it? for the development of this line or any other. Why should this hemp something, I don't know, from Mars or from Venus? I think uh, that it's business like any other and uh, you should take your possibilities to collect this money, not to stay in Brussels or to go somewhere for, I don't know, some atomic investigations. Thank you. Any other yes, questions? Yes, I have a question. No? <laughs> How started exactly? Uh, uh, you need only Slovenian team or you need international team? No, no, no. Uh, how started with ideas? You need uh, one idea which one we must uh, have prepared uh, for you and uh, you ask uh, only for money. Or you work with uh, teamwork with, uh, uh, um, example, our passengers or our partners uh, together, and we build uh, together idea, and then we together ask for money. Uh, this is first question, and second question is how is uh, the co-finance? Uh, anybody knows that uh, we must uh, co-finance uh, this project, and uh, somebody must uh, have here a big uh, budget before you find uh, money in uh, Brussels uh, all the time uh, you need um, a big only yourself money budget that uh, you uh, even can go um, 
uh, asking for money. Maybe just a little bit more about these uh, two things. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first, you all could be members of such team. So, we could go locally or internationally. Uh, you're going locally, we have local members of our team. You go internationally, we have international members of our team. Uh, if we want to raise money, we should have a little bit of our money before, but just a little bit. When we are talking about new SMA instrument as a part of the Horizon program, uh, there is phase one, which is very interesting. This is a new part of, of uh, European chances to get grants. Why? Uh, till now, the projects were so big that if you want to, to be granted, uh, you should invest a few thousands of euros for, for your project. But in this phase one, you should invest maybe, I don't know, one or two thousand euros. Why so? Because this phase one is just, as I say, for your feasibility study, which must be done for phase two. And you take the money, this, this 50,000 euro, just for doing feasibility study and other papers which must be fulfilled for the phase two. And you must do it inside six months period. So, yes, you need one or two thousand euros from the beginning. Everything else in the next step is from that money. But we have at the end 70% is maximum for funding our project. European projects, as my colleague said, are partly pre-financed into 20% of the whole sum. So, you need 30% in the end, 30% of your project to be financed from your money. Everything else could be from the European money. Uh, but you must know what are these costs which are covered, which could be covered with this money. So you should have your project very well done before to know what are the costs to, to came to the prototype of your, I don't know, new, new house or something else from, made from hand? Yes, uh, uh, just a question more, please. Um, uh, uh, how, how started maybe if uh, somebody who have idea and uh, he just has only idea and uh, he come in your uh, came data, uh, come data, come data. data. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, how started? He must have uh, some um, money for starting for your team, or you you started work with with him, with him, work with him, and then uh, you find money for uh, this idea. Uh, and how is it? how is this? How is start? How Thank you. you. Very good question. As I said at the same beginning, our Comdata Institute uh, is a non-profit, non-government organization. So we are not doing it for profit, but of course we must live and uh, we need some money <laughs> to do so. But, however, at the start, when you ask something before we find any solution, it's for free. The next step is about talking. <laughs> the next step is about uh, finding solutions 
Of course, any, uh, every solution has its own costs. But, uh, however, our, our type of working is that only the small part of uh, costs must be covered before. We are talking only for, for fixed costs, like uh, for, for, I don't know, from gas and so on, for papers. Uh, but let's say about, uh, again, 70 or 80 percent of our work could be financed like a success fee. If, if you are successful in collecting grants, then we get our money. Other way, no. So, that's our way of, of working. And uh, one question more, because uh, this is a very interesting uh, thematic uh, for me too, and my team. Uh, how, um, how started, how, how what, what idea must have? Uh, somebody have idea, somebody have yes. some product, what he must have for starting, that uh, this is uh, interest, uh, here is interest for, for raising money. Talking about SMA instrument, just an idea is enough for the beginning. Everything else we can establish later. So, first thing, call us or send me a mail and give me your idea in, in five words. If it's good enough, five words is more than enough. Uh, the next step is we will find a way to talk to each other, to, to find solutions, to give you our opinion about your idea and to, to give you uh, possibilities for your next step. How is it uh, partners, international partners? Um, uh, is this, uh, uh, must they be in this project? Uh, uh, you find these international partners or uh, uh, somebody who have idea uh, might have this international It depends partners. from project to project. Uh, we can find you, we can help you find the appropriate partners through our partner network all over the Europe and the wider. So we can find you, we can help you find the appropriate partners, uh, but you also have partners through your organization, so maybe we can separate this in, let's say, one, one way. You find two or three partners from your own, and we can find you another one or two from other fields with, uh, which could be related to your project. So that's why it's important to know your project first, and then to talk about possible partnership. Thank you very much. Thank you.